What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're making the perfect weeknight meal. You get all the flavor of a lasagna that comes together in just 30 minutes and you only use one skillet. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. We're getting things kicked off with one yellow onion here. We're to cut the ends off and then remove the skin. Just give it a nice rough chop. You wanna dice it up a little bit. And a small bite-sized pieces that's gonna go into our pasta sauce. Again, this is a quick 30 minute meal. So we're using jarred sauce. My favorite jarred pasta sauce is Rao's. If you're gonna use jarred sauce, they're definitely the way to go. Let me know in the comments what your preferred jarred pasta sauce is when you're pressed for time. All right, so we have our onion diced up here. We're also gonna add some garlic to the party. So we're going down with five cloves of garlic that we're gonna smash and dice. This helps the garlic peel a lot easier, as you can see here. And then just use your knife to dice it up nice and fine. You can also use minced garlic, but, but my recommendation is the fewer ingredients that you use, the fresher the ingredients need to be. And today we're only using a few ingredients. So the garlic's gonna be fresh. We got some good onions, some good garlic, and we have some oven lasagna, no bake needed. This is the lasagna noodles that we'll be using today. We're gonna break these up into about two inch pieces. This may seem a little weird to you guys, but trust me on this one. This is gonna be a fantastic lasagna. You get all the flavor that everyone loves in a traditional lasagna, but it comes together super quick and easy. All right, so we're gonna warm our skillet. This is the only skillet that we'll need today. We're gonna to add that garlic to a little bit of olive oil on medium low and just let that kind of toast. That way that garlic flavor really infuses itself into the sauce. Again, we're using jarred sauce, so we gotta doctor this bad boy up a little bit. So in goes the onion, in goes the garlic. Two to three minutes to let that sweat down. Let all that delicious flavor release into the oil. And now we're going in with a half pound of lean ground beef and one half pound of mild Italian sausage. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. We're just gonna cook that meat until it's no longer pink. We're going in with a little AP seasoning. You can grab yours via the link in the description box with a discount. It's a little salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Also going in with some Italian seasoning as well. And just keep moving that around, ensuring everything's cooking evenly, nothing's burning. Next, we're going in with some crushed red pepper flakes. Totally optional, but I like to add a little bit of spice to the party. And now we're going in with two tablespoons of tomato paste, if I can ever get it out of the tube. Come on, Matt, use your muscles. There we go. All right, so incorporate that into your meat and veggie mixture. Make sure everything is well combined. So far, so good. And here, my friends, is my preferred brand that I use. They're not a sponsor today, but they do make a good product. We're going in with 32 ounces of Rouse tomato sauce. Whatever flavor floats your boat will work just fine for this recipe. You use their marinara is really good as well. You just want to evenly distribute that throughout your skillet. And then we're going in with our lasagna noodles. So again, evenly distribute those as well. Try not to stack them up too much because they do have a tendency to stick together. Next, we're adding a half cup of water and then we're gonna cover it with a lid for 10 minutes. Let that simmer for 10 minutes, do not touch it. After 10 minutes, remove the lid and then you're gonna stir everything around. Try to ensure those lasagna noodles are not sticking together too much. Say it with me guys, looking good. You can see the lasagna noodles are getting nice and tender, softening up a bit. We're going down with a little bit more all-purpose seasoning and some white sugar just to balance the acidity from the jarred sauce. Also a little bit of Italian seasoning. You can taste this as you go and adjust the flavors to your preference. You can make it a little spicier if you wanna add some more red pepper flakes for those of you guys that like spice. Now we're going in with some fresh oregano and then we're gonna cover it with a lid for an additional 10 minutes. Some fresh herbs really brighten this up a little bit. Just a few little tricks you can use to kinda, of, you know, make your jarred sauce taste a little bit more homemade. So we're gonna cover that with a lid, let that simmer for 10 minutes. During that time, we're gonna go ahead and shred our mozzarella cheese. Fresh is best with this, guys. It melts a little bit better. 
So we're gonna shred about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. So, so far it's been 20 minutes of total cook time. The lasagna noodles are getting nice and soft. The sauce is coming together beautifully. We're just gonna stir that to make sure everything's cooking evenly and nothing's burning. Keep an eye on it. Oh man, that looks good. Now we're gonna add some ricotta cheese to the party. Just evenly distribute that. It's about five ounces or so of ricotta. We're gonna cover that for five minutes for a total cook time of 25 minutes so far. Then you just wanna mix in the ricotta cheese. Go ahead and preheat your oven to the highest broil setting that it has because we're gonna add some cheese to the top of this bad boy and pop it into the oven. Oh man, this is looking good. Now we're going down with that mozzarella cheese we just shredded. We're gonna pop this under the broiler for about three to four minutes or until it's brown and beautiful, just like this. Brace yourself for a couple trademark money shots coming up. We're going down with some fresh chopped basil for a pop of color and well, because basil is delicious. That's a money shot. All right, guys, it's time for the moment of truth. I got to get in here and give this a taste test, but not before I give you guys a slow-mo scoop shot. Uh-oh, here we go. Hold on to your seats. Oh, man, look at that. Delicious lasagna in 30 minutes. Basically like a deconstructed lasagna. We're going to plate this up. I'm going in for a taste test. Oh man, that looks mighty hot, Matt. What are you doing? Jesus, look at all the steam. This isn't gonna end well. Uh-oh. And of course I burned my mouth. Way to go, buddy. You're not gonna have any taste buds after this. All right, let's try this one more time. Much smaller bite, much cooler bite, and a delicious one skillet lasagna in less than 30 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.